What's going on guys? We're back here in Moab, Utah playing some airsoft. Today's video was so crazy to film. We got the cops called on us. We had a crazy guy yelling at us from the top of a mountain. We changed courses. You guys are really in for a show. And like always, if you guys enjoy this content, please hit that subscribe button. It's free and you can unsubscribe whenever you want. But without further ado, let's get into it. Oh shoot. I don't have no clue where I'm going. Today's game you're gonna notice is a little bit different from last game. I'm not using my KWA Vector. Just the day before this war, I was lucky enough to receive my G and G combat machine. I am absolutely blown away at how well this thing works and the distance and everything about it is just absolutely perfect. Hey boys, move up. I need help. Right here, I realized that I was starting to get pinched from both sides. I didn't like that, so I tried to make a run to the top of the hill. Luckily, just in time, I made it out of range of all of their BBs, and I was able to make it up the hill that I wanted to go to. Man, it's too early for this. I'm either out of shape or... Now I was sitting in a pretty good position that I knew I could make my way back down the mountain. I could see all of the opposing team and they were focused on my teammates, so I knew it was a perfect time to rush. Just as I had hoped, my teammates took out the surrounding enemies and left me with the last guy. This was where things became a little interesting. We saw a guy come up over the hill when we were heading back down to another zone we wanted to play at. He wasn't too happy about us being there. To give a little context, we were given permission to play in this valley, and the owner who gave us permission of this property was out of town. The guy who we're talking to right here was one of the construction workers working on the owner's house and took it upon himself to make a bunch of teenagers really upset. All of this was understandable. We knew the guy just worked there and he was just doing his job to be a good friend to whoever he was working for. We decided it was better to try not to argue and just listen to the guy and leave the area. All of us were very respectful and understood what the guy said, so we started making our way out and that was when this happened. We made it across the property line and was looking for another place to play when we saw him pull up and start taking photos of our car's license plates. At this point, I was really upset. We did everything that he asked us to, we were very respectful, and he still wanted to find a way to bother us. Hey bro, is there a reason you're taking photos of our cars? Your dad is? At this point, I didn't think anything could get any worse. My buddy's dad had been called, and he's a part of the sheriff's department. This bozo Why decided it was cops? a great idea to call the police instead of even talking to us. <laughs> we were so nice to him too. Yeah, I got it on camera. Oh no, he's turning around. You good? <laughs> Yeah, stay here for the cops, bro. So we just wait? Should we just wait? Our property, as soon as he told us to leave, we were super respectful. We got out of the way and... Yeah, we were leaving. And he was the one who continued to push stuff. Little did our male Karen know that the entire police force was actually one of our buddy's families. Trayton's family is the cops. <laughs> Facts. 
<laughs> That's what this, this guy doesn't understand. His Trayton's family is the police. <laughs> Why? Why'd he come? I want to see some. Tell him to turn on his lights. Uh. <laughs> Pretty much. So where were you guys? Up in there. Yeah. Introducing you to Trayden's dad. This guy basically runs the police department out here. He runs a lot of the stuff, and he took it upon himself to come over here before anybody else did. We were super grateful that we had the upper hand in this situation and that things didn't get worse. We knew it was just best to tell the truth about what happened and leave it at that. Charlie Brown, that's his actual name. What's going on, man? How you doing? Good, how are you? <laughs> doing awesome. This was probably the coolest cop I have ever met in my entire life. I know, you out talking shit again. <laughs> <laughs> we were up in there, moving up a little ways. We got this player. Damn. Is it all at the same? Like the Can you like, put me in handcuffs and draw you? <laughs> <laughs> Up over the hill. The more we started telling our story and talking to the police officers, the more they started to understand that we really weren't doing anything wrong. The officer standing right here actually started getting pretty upset at the person who kicked us out. He decided he was going to take responsibility, go up there, and talk to the guy himself. So, I mean, obviously, we told him where his house was. Their property line is right. You can see it if you walk in right here. It looked like a big brown house, like big windows. That's what you I saw. See it? Okay, thank you. Yep. Yeah, appreciate it, guys. Make sure and talk, tie in with him. If you, are you going up there right now? Or I'm going to call him, yeah, and then if you guys want to play, I'll just get a hold of you. Cool, sounds good, yeah. Later on, we actually found out that the person who was yelling at us decided he was going to yell at the police officer, too. He definitely was missing a few screws. We moved our field over to a wetland area, and that's where you'll see some of our next gameplay. This place was absolutely insane. Ready, three, two, one, go! Right here, I had gotten one of the bigger enemies out, so I knew that I needed to sit there and make sure that he didn't get a revive. Just as I saw somebody coming up to revive him, I realized that there was a much simpler way to get around. I figured I'd let him get the revive off and go and circle behind their backs. As you can see there, I got one of the enemies, but the one who got revived had managed to escape. Little did I know this would lead to probably one of the most insane firefights I've had in a while. The whole time while he was turning the other direction, he was slowly picking off my teammates that I had left behind. This just meant I was Me? all alone. Yeah, of course. I'm the only one killing anybody. <laughs> it's just trading, people push. Oh, Michael's dead? That? I don't wanna look. Oh. You're about to get shot. Ah. <laughs> Neither of our guns were getting any close to each other from that distance, so I decided I was gonna take it upon myself and go try and res my teammates, which he had just killed. <laughs>
Yo, revive. Revive! Right here, something I didn't expect happened. The team that I had just revived had gotten shot from another direction. I wasn't expecting the enemy to be there. This started making me panic because I knew that if I was in this position, I would just get shot like they did. Unfortunately, I had already attempted to res my teammates and it didn't work out, so I knew that I had to take this solo. As soon as I got up to the center road, I expected to see him somewhere and we would have a firefight. But unfortunately, I couldn't see him anywhere. That was when I got second hope for resing my teammates. Revive! Oh, that's cute. <laughs> and just like that, both of my teammates were here. We knew this guy didn't stand a chance. The only problem was, is we had no clue where he was at. We thought that he had ran across the road, so we decided we were going to go check over there, but realized he was a lot deeper into the thick of it than we thought. Yes, I see it. He's right behind that big, see that black tree right there? I thought he was on that. He was, he ran across. He's right behind that black tree right there. Watch this, boys. Finally, I had spotted him. He was hiding behind a tree because he knew that I had gotten both the revives off. He's right here. Come towards me. Yep, you should see him. He's out. And just like that, we walked away with a victory. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really cannot explain how much it means to me. If you guys like this content, please hit that subscribe button. Like I said before, it doesn't hurt you in any way and you can unsubscribe whenever you want. If you want to see more of this, go check out my channel. I also do vlogs and go follow the TikTok, The Adventures of Meatball. We post awesome shorts on there from all of our games and yeah, I'll see y'all later.